In this video, I'm going to show you how to export in the best quality in DaVinci Resolve. So first open up your DaVinci project and then select the deliver tab in the bottom navigation. Now in the left hand navigation, select H.265 master to export your video in the best quality. Then go and give your file a name. I'm just going to call this YouTube and select a location where you want to save this file. So I'm going to click on browse and I'm just going to save this over to my desktop and press save. Now for the render, you need to make sure this is set to single clip if you select individual clips then what that's going to do is render each of the videos in your timeline individually so because we want this entire thing is just one file click on single clip then select the video tab and make sure export video is checked for the format click on QuickTime for the best quality if your computer has trouble rendering the video then you can always select mp4 as a second best alternative once again make sure the codec set to h.265 and that's going to match the codec at the top here leave the encoder as auto and then scroll down to the resolution. Now for the resolution, most of the time you can just set this to 920 by 1080 HD. If you want to upload your video into 4K, then you can select 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Now for the frame rate, you need to make sure this matches your video footage frame rate. So you can either just select timeline frame rate, or if you know the exact frame rate, then just select it from the list. So I'm going to select 24 as I know this video footage is 24 frames per second. Then for the quality, we're going to change this from automatic to restrict to, and then we need to change this number next to kilobytes per second. Now, in order to find the most optimal number here, you need to times your frame rate by 2000. So I'm just going to bring up this calculator and because my frame rate is 24, I'm going to type in 24 times by 2000 and press equals, which is 48,000. And that's what I'm going to put here. Now, obviously, if you have a 32 frames per second, then you want to times it by 32 and so forth. Now, the final thing we're going to do is click on render and you can either select the entire timeline and that's going to export everything on this timeline, or you can click on in and out range. And then using these gray markers, you can make a selection to where you want the video rendered. I'm just going to leave this as entire timeline and then press add to render queue and select render all. And it's as simple as that guys. That's how you export DaVinci Resolve in the best quality. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.